guys, look at that, check it out. Uh, watch this video if you want to see how we built this thing. Uh, we've got a lot to do. Here's number one, let's go. Hello and welcome back to RC Workshop. Guys, check it out today. We are doing the indoor crawler course build. We have got a nice bench there, roughly three meters in length by 650 out. We are gonna do a nice indoor crawler course for these 124 scale crawlers. And the first thing we're gonna do is actually start up this corner. Mapped a bit of an idea out, like so I'm gonna split it into two halves, but it's all gonna be one course. I'm gonna try and get a couple of levels going on, on the height. Um, but the idea is that we've got a figure of eight around this part, under and over. So say for example, this car's here. Unsure on start point at the mini, but this car will go up, around the top, back down, again, back up and over the other car. So there'll be a bridge to drive under to get back onto that course. And then you'll be able to go down the back and round. This is an unused pipe that goes through the house. This is gonna have a stair, a spiral staircase wrap around. And again, that will feed off back onto the crawler course. What we're gonna do basically is lay down, we've got loads of rubbish cardboard on the floor here. Basically we're gonna hot glue that down into some sort of a formation for the base of the crawler course. Then on top of that then we can apply aggregate stones, rough sands, all that sort of stuff, paint work, even maybe a little mud or pool bath in the middle to see if the cars can go through that. Um, yeah, I just wanna sort of wing it at the minute guys. Just do what feels best. Test it, see if the cars can just about get up it. We don't need it to, to be too easy. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to do is just get this one corner built. This will probably be a multi-part video. Like I say, today what I want to try and do is get all the cardboard course roughly laid out in video one. Video two will be refining that and then maybe adding some spray foam and things like that. Uh, let's get this done. Let's add some cardboard onto this course and see if we can make it a reality. So then guys, what we've got so far, put a nice big Amazon box in the corner, uh, dug a little cave out through there as well, and put a wraparound wall in there, let's say, loads of detail to be added to this at a later date. Uh, made a lollipop stick ramp, again, strong enough to hold the cars, nice and sturdy. These are real simple, lollipop sticks, really cheap as well, these are the jumbo ones. And all you've literally got to do is put a bead of glue across like so. Get a lollipop stick, measure it up with the last one, and drop it on there and press down and wait a second. Then move the one out the way that you've got as a divider, like so, done. This is literally, this comes with IKEA packing. Uh, you could use, I suppose, a nice wooden rule or plastic rule, something sturdy, but this is strong enough because it's been reinforced. And then on the back of that as well, then what we do is when this is finished on the top, Turn that over and just lay a few sticks out side by side, like so. And that just reinforces the back of that there. Uh, and then we're gonna put the second ramp up there and then we'll come back to you and just try the ramps out and then figure out how we're gonna go up and over and under. That's saying this is a bit of an entry point into the middle part of the arena thing for it. Yeah, yeah. So here is where we've got to. Uh, I've got a little bit elaborate really with the uh, jumbo pop sticks. I like them. They're really useful guys. Check that little ramp out down there. Ramp coming up and over the top and then away through as well into that next part. So just a little one handed action. Here we go. Pardon the pun. And then we've got to try and turn around up here. Loads of room for that. And then down this one, nice. And then what we gotta do is go far, far left without falling off. So you can get that angle to turn. Like so. I want this to be a little bit techy and awkward because otherwise it's gonna be boring if you can just literally race around it. And then over there. And down that ramp and out onto the next part of the course as well as that then once you've done this part of the course over here 
you'll be able to go back through the tunnel back into this part and I've left it so you can actually do this in reverse as well if you want to go for example up this side I'm trying to leave it as open as possible so you can uh, stay on one part if you like doing the part like I say this is going to be made really awkward this is going to be all be like big boulders and everything else around the back of here that's going to put the car on a slant to come around this I've left this open as well at the front here for maybe something off this pipe I've done a bit of a tester to see how well the hot glue holds these sticks onto the pipe and I think it's going to be quite successful so two sticks for example loads of weight on there I just wonder how many sticks it's going to take to actually get round the pipe <laughs> anyway guys there you go that's where I've got up to so far uh, I might do a little bit more before the end of this video uh, yeah I may as well let's add a bit more onto it okay okay I know it looks different I had a change of heart I didn't want two identical ramps up and down this box so I changed it, shortened this one so it's more of a steeper incline. I might even shorten it again to make it a little bit more tough and give a little bit more room here because uh, we're going to have rock gardens and everything else like I say. Get some cans of spray foam. I've put arches around these so they're like arches to caves. We'll blob some spray foam around there and it'll all blotch up like red round boulders and stuff. And we'll bend all this corner around. We'll give this an arch around the back around there. Again, spray foam around all these loads of different spray foam pieces here some rock gardens and things like that you know some dips uh, might even drop some sand in there make it nice and awkward as you can see this other ramp here we lifted it up joined another piece on and we've attached that to the, the elaborate center um, there's loads of routes to choose from now you can even come through this one or this one i'm going to gate that off there um yeah, so again, let's just give it one more whirl before we wrap this video up for today. So I'm going to do the other side next time. Let's just whip across to there. So we're going to start doing some other stuff over here. Drop some comments in below because now's your chance to say what you think should be in this course or where. So drop a comment below, guys. That would be great. Um, again, let's just try and navigate around this corner. So we've got a nice long down ramp again. This can be done in reverse as well. So it's up to you whatever route you want to take. This route's obviously going to take you up and over to another route or the spiral if I can be bothered to do that. Um, and then again, like I say, what you've got is a separate route altogether. If you just want to go up this, you can. Like so. Over. Whee! Oh, that's what you get for driving one-handed. Let's cheat. Anyway, so over the top of there. Down the back of there. And on to the next part of the course. Or you can take this other route where depending on what type of tyres you've got on the car, the tyres we've got on, as you can see, don't like gripping too well. So what you need, you need a little bit of a run-up. And you get up there, no problem. And then whatever route you want to go from there. Again, it flows nicely, guys. I'm really happy with it. Uh, anyway, drop a comment below. Let me know what you want in here. Like I say, video number two, when it's done, will be up on here. Because this is video number one. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Woohoo!